Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. We're going to have a bit of a palette cleanser today. I know the Harkles are still in New York, uh, friending everybody there, and uh, I'm not going to be reading on them today, except tangentially perhaps in this reading. Um, but I'm going to be looking at Lady Louise, the lovely Lady Louise, who has come to prominence um, since the passing of Prince Philip. She was very noticeable with her parents one day out and about looking at tributes left to him. And she was also very noticeable in the um, television uh, tribute to Prince Philip that was, uh, I think it was on the BBC. Um, I haven't watched it, but um, she got rave reviews. Her wisdom, her poise, uh, her maturity all came shining through. And she's an interesting character to me. I have certainly, she's been on my radar, let's say it that way. She's been on my radar for a long time. Um, as an energy reader, I find her fascinating. I think she's an old soul, very old soul. I think she's very complex. I think she's very wise. I think she's potentially psychic, whether she ever um, taps into that talent or not in this life, who knows? And um, be interesting to know what you have to say about her in the comments. Lots of you are energy readers and can read these energies as well. So I'm going to be doing my seven card spread that I've done for some of the other royal children. And just look at her. She's not a child anymore, of course. But just looking at her, her personality, her relationship with her parents, her gifts, her uh, challenges, her life path. And I'll also be asking uh, just a sneaky little question on how she views Harry and Meghan. Set card spread. I will explain it as I go. I am using for her the lovely Muse Tarot for those of you who are interested. It's a deck that I generally read in the upright. If a card has come out in the reverse, that will be quite strange. Um, it's a very beautiful tarot deck. It's um, quite different to the normal Rider weight, but it does have a very good energy and I reserve it for very special people and very special occasions. And I think Lady Louise is one of the deserving um, candidates of a read with this, um, this deck. And so let's see, central card here is just a card that gives an indication of what she's like as a personality. Oh, wow. <laughs> Doesn't mess around, does it? We get the emperor, leader, a leader. She really is. And that's male energy. That's a very strong, that's a very powerful uh, personality right there. And I, as far as I know, she's a Scorpio. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's a Scorpio. Um, that's uh, Mars energy. And of course, Scorpio ruled by Mars and Pluto. She's very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. She knows who she is, what she wants, how to get it. And uh, I think we see that just with her carriage driving. I mean, that's that's something quite a uh, a sport that requires a certain level of leadership and and power to be able to do what she does. And she certainly was acknowledged by um, her grandfather as a very powerful person, uh, seemingly. So very interesting energy. Um, um, I'm, I'm 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 awestruck actually uh, by that card that's come out there and. The Muse Tarot is a very female deck, uh, just to let you know, I don't use it to um, read male energy. And so the Emperor, even though it's normally a male figure in the Muse Tarot, is a female figure. And so I think that's very appropriate for her. So her relationship with her mother, with Sophie, how is that? Uh, fabulous relationship, absolutely. The Ten of Materials is the Ten of Pentacles, and that is family very supportive. You see them all around that tree holding hands. Mother is absolutely, um, has her back, looks after her, believes in her, nurtures her, encourages her. She's very powerfully rooted in the family and um, flowering in that family, looked after very carefully. She is a very special soul as far as I'm concerned and she has a mother who is very aware that she's a very special soul and looks after her. And she is very rooted, of course, not only in Sophie's family, but in the royal family. She's very much part and parcel of that family. And I'm going to be asking about that in a later card, but it's very interesting that that generations and uh, lineage and heritage and security and abundance all there with her. And I apologize, I'm a little bit breathless as I'm doing this reading. I don't know why I actually started this reading earlier 
and completely ran out of oxygen while I was doing it and had to stop. There is something about this energy that is literally taking the oxygen out of my lungs as I'm trying to get these words out. So I do apologize. I'm fine. I'm not ill. I'm, I'm, I'm almost recovered from the illness that I did have. And uh, this is just very strange energy that literally is taking the air out of my lungs as I'm talking to you. So her relationship with her father, with Prince Edward, and that's a difficult relationship. The Seven of Voices is the Seven of Swords. Um, things there that are not, not um, that obvious, not that known. The Seven of Swords, Seven of Voices is disappearing, is hidden, is running away, avoiding, evading. And that's a very, very strange energy. Uh, there's something about that relationship that is um, not, not what it seems to be. And uh, I don't want to go digging and prying in there at all. Um, perhaps uh, he's less present in her life than uh, we would think. And that is what that card is telling me. That Sophie is all there for her. Prince Edward perhaps not. Uh, perhaps Prince Edward doesn't quite uh, understand her. Um, it, it's, it's usually the card of sneaky behavior and trickery, but I'm not getting that energy off it in this reading, not at all. I'm getting more a level of avoidance, a level of, um, as I say, disappearing. Perhaps the father is, is more just behind the scenes and she is more, um, more connected to her mother. Uh, so let's put it like that. Bit of a strange energy, not, not what I would expect to see. Um, but let's move on from that. Uh, I don't think we need to hang around with that energy any longer. Her gifts and talents that she's brought into this life. Uh, what is she here to shine? Eight of materials, that's the Ace of Pentacles. She's a hard worker. She's diligent. She is going to put her back into whatever she sets her mind to and she's going to commit to it she's very focused very diligent and again we see that with her carriage driving she has worked hard at it um, she will she will master crafts she will master whatever she sets out to do that emperor energy also tells me she um, very diligent very focused very reliable uh, she's willing to learn she's willing to put effort in she's willing to um, to practice and to perfect and so she will be uh, very reliable. You can count on her. And uh, that's a very important attribute, uh, not something to be ever to be looked down on in life. Challenges, uh, difficulties that she may be facing. She had a difficult birth. She had that um, uh, eye vision defect. Uh, challenges. And that's the ace of inspiration, which is the ace of wands. And that is... That is almost finding your purpose, uh, ace, of, ace of inspiration, finding what you're passionate about, uh, finding uh, your creativity, your, your, as I say, your passion for something. And um, getting the idea with the 10 of, of materials and the ace of materials that she's very good at doing what, not what other people want her to do, but what pleases other people. And she probably is... Um, empath, intuitive, those, uh, that kind of person, not probably, I'm sure she is, uh, who's very aware of other people and what other people like and what other people need and so it's easy for her to slot in and follow and do what other people want to do. But she is an emperor in her self and she is going to struggle to find a way of expressing that emperor energy in her life and of course being born into the family she's been born into is going to be particularly difficult for her we'll come to her life purpose uh, as the final card over here but this is my quick little uh, aside my side question for her and of course tarot reading entertainment purpose is just my opinion but i'm curious to know what does lady louise think of harry and megan and their antics 10 of inspiration that is the 10 of wands she thinks that they have chosen a long and lonely road 
They are a burden to the royal family. That Ten of Wands is the card of burden. Uh, the card of being overwhelmed by uh, what you have chosen to do. Uh, very difficult to pass in that card. And yeah, so she doesn't think that they're on a happy journey, the road to success. She thinks they have picked a difficult and a lonely path with lots of burdens, lots of challenges. And possibly also she thinks that they are a burden to the royal family. So that's interesting. So she does not um, uh, look at them and think, oh, wow, you know, aren't they great? Aren't they lucky? Aren't they wonderful? Wish I was living their life. Wish I too had found freedom. Not at all. She's very happy here in this role in the family that she has for the time being. And the final card that I have uh, for this short little reading on Lady Louise is her life path, her purpose. And in particular, how that will connect with the royal family, if at all. And let's see what the cards have to tell us. The chariot, wow. Um, that is very powerful, very powerful card. Very purpose driven with the chariot. She's going to get a lot done in her life. Once she finds that passion, that she's going to be looking for, that project, that purpose, she's all out. She has the emperor energy and the chariot and those are both cardinal signs aries and cancer those are the the uh, start projects and get going with them in a very committed and dedicated way um, nothing gets in their way nothing gets in the emperor's way and nothing gets in the way of the chariot once she's on her on a mission she's on a mission she's going to do amazing things i think with that card with the chariot um high high um high visibility things we know that some people think that they're having a high visibility moment in new york this is high visibility she's going to be noticed she's going to be seen she's going to drive forward with projects and uh, whether it's for the royal family or for charitable endeavors or for her own creative passions with the ace of inspiration it could be that she chooses a uh, a path that is a creative path she might have um, artistic leanings and uh, want to explore those but she's going to be very powerful she's going to be a very powerful force she's going to get things done and she's going to be noticed and she's going to be seen and she's going to be respected as well very much um, emperor energy and the chariot those are um, energies that people do respect and uh, notice and acknowledge and uh, she's very impressive absolutely um i was expecting to see more um intuitive introspective cards uh, more emotional cards i'm not surprised i'm impressed by the cards that have come out this is exactly the energy that we were seeing um, in that tribute to Prince Philip and uh, when she was out and about with her parents looking at the uh, things with the floral tributes to Prince Philip uh, just before his funeral and uh, that very powerful energy was coming through her. That's a slightly worrying card but as I say I think it is just more that there's a little bit of a gap between them and uh, interested to, to hear what you have to say i don't want to read anything sinister into that card i don't think it's sinister and particularly not in this deck um, even this card the ten of wands uh, talking about harry and megan isn't sinister it's just observing that their lives are difficult the path that they have chosen is a rocky path it's a rocky road and it's going to lead to suffering it's not going to lead to a happy ending as far as she is concerned and she is very wise she is very observant and so i absolutely trust her judgment as it is coming through in this reading interesting reading i hope you enjoyed it i have my air back in my lungs now that i'm finished <laughs> and i will see you in the next reading